What's up, folks? RJ? Sizzlin? Comic, but with a cold and at one octave lower than you're used to hearing. And Troubleshoot here, back with another week of Halo Infinite news. Today, we'll talk about the Spirit of Fire operation, upcoming updates, and more. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Now, let's jump right into it. The Spirit of Fire operation is live for its third week. This operation contains a pass with 20 tiers of free Halo Wars themed rewards, including the evolved assault rifle weapon model for players who purchased the premium version of the pass. Along with this event, players also unlock the Mark IV Armor Core for free, fully customizable and with cross-core compatible helmets, shoulders, and coatings. This pass also contains new unlockables for this core, including the new SRES chest piece and the Arger helmet. After this operation ends, the Cyber Showdown 3 operation will begin, containing a pass with futuristic themed rewards, which will then be followed by the Yappening 2 operation a few weeks later. Both operations will contain free passes with 20 tiers of earnable rewards and will have premium options so that the passes never expire. We'll have more details on these upcoming operations soon, so stay tuned here for all your event and seasonal news. The Big Team Battle Playlist Refresh just dropped today. This refresh brought five new community-made Forge maps into the Big Team Battle Playlist. These maps are Thunderhead, Insolence, Obituary, Fortitude, and Refuge. We should expect more playlist refreshes and the upcoming Match Composer sometime in the next few weeks. We should be seeing a Firefight Playlist Refresh sometime this month, with Husky Raid and Squad Battle Refreshes coming sometime in the near future. The development team for Halo Infinite is also still making significant progress on the upcoming match composer for Halo Infinite. This composer will allow players to search for the type of content and game modes they want to play, similar to the system we currently have in the Master Chief Collection, which will also include Ranked Slayer and Doubles options. Additionally, the team is still working hard on making network improvements across all playlists, along with better anti-cheat systems for online matches, both of which will be great for the game. We're glad the Big Team Battle Refresh is finally here, and we should be seeing more refreshes soon. In the meantime, stay tuned here for all upcoming update news. The second season of the Halo series has begun. Two episodes have been released so far, with new episodes premiering each Thursday up until March 21st. So far, we've had both Kai and Riz's helmets from the show as ultimate rewards in Halo Infinite, with Vanek's helmet planned to drop as an ultimate reward this coming week. This season has started off pretty strong, and we're excited to see what comes next, and if there's any more cosmetics from the show that appear in Halo Infinite. We'll cover any Halo Infinite and Halo series crossovers, so stay tuned here for your Halo Media News. Players who log in to Halo Infinite from now until the end of February will unlock this coating, visor, and emblem set for Black History Month. Be sure to log in to Halo Infinite now to unlock yourself these sweet cosmetic items and to celebrate Black History Month. Time for this week's Capstone Challenge. This week's Capstone Challenge requires you to earn a Killing Spree Medal in PvP. When completed, the challenge will grant you the Arcadian Bog Armor Coating. This coating would make Spartan Jerome proud. Good luck to everyone going for Spree Medals this week. On to this week's shop. We got the same bundles from last week's shop, aside from the mid-weekly and daily items. HGS customization bundles are also still available, containing cross-core weapon and armor coatings, team-themed visors, and the Dracon Bandit Rifle Weapon model. Out of all the bundles, the Light Reading Bundle is the first semi-weekly bundle for this week. The Lunar Coil Bundle is still in the shop, which contains the Lunar Coil Armor Effect, the Dragon's Embrace Kill Effect, the Lunar Trails Mythic Effect Set, the Scales of the Living Dragon Armor Effect, the Cultivate Peace Armor Coating, the Lunar Dragon Emblem Backdrop, the Spring Festival Sealed 2024 Emblem Set, and the Dragon Medallion Weapon Charm. The free Lucky Dragon Bundle from last week is also still available in the shop, which contains the Lucky Dragon Weapon Charm and the Spring Festival Dragon 2024 Emblem Set. 
Besides these bundles, we still got a bunch of great bundles for the Mark IV Armor Core as well, including the Omega Team Super Bundle with its three separate bundles. These bundles are the perfect Valentine's Day gift for that one special Spartan in your life. If I had to choose one bundle to love this Valentine's Day, it would have to be the Paladin Bundle from the Omega Team Super Bundle. As always, check out the Infinite News Twitter to catch all the daily and weekly items the minute they are released. Time for this week's Halo Infinite promotions. A nameplate backdrop can still be earned with a purchase from the Wolverine X Halo Spartan Collection. By purchasing a pair of boots from this limited edition collection and signing up for the emails from Wolverine, you can get yourself the Plasma Lock backdrop for Halo Infinite. After purchase, an order confirmation email should come through detailing how to unlock this backdrop. If you're the kind of Spartan that's always the first to put their boots on the ground, consider purchasing a pair of these boots to unlock yourself this striking backdrop. Promotions are still available with the Xbox Gear Shop. By purchasing specific Halo-themed apparel from the online store, you'll receive a code to unlock emblems for Halo Infinite. Players can unlock the Hannibal Heavies emblem, the Korolev Grizzlies emblem, the Lethbridge Gravitics emblem, the Mizraya Maulers emblem, or the Nef Tali Omnisports emblem by purchasing the corresponding hat or shirt. Be sure to check out these Xbox Gear Shop items if you wish to sport these great looks in-game and on the streets. For more information about the Wolverine promotion, the Gear Shop promotion, or any of the other ongoing Halo Infinite promotions, check out the Infinite News website. It's now time for this week's Community Highlights. Artist Marcin Karras created this piece of Kai's helmet from the Halo series and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the artwork, we can see a headshot of Kai125's helmet drawn in a vibrant art style. We really like the colors and shading of this piece. The warm orange glow of the visor mixed with the various blue tones of this piece is absolutely phenomenal, and we like how this warm glow even extends to other parts of the helmet. The shading and line work around the helmet is also superb, and we like how the shadows are cast between the many divots and crevices of the Spartan's arm. This artwork makes Kai's helmet from the Halo series even more incredible than it already was. To see this piece, as well as more amazing works from Mars and Karas, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. 3D artist Ideal Roni created this render titled Ancient Connections and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the render, we can see Master Chief confronting the Isodidact from the Forerunner book trilogy. We really like the framing and lighting of this piece. The Isodidact looks incredible standing amongst the dead Covenant soldiers and in front of the large glowing blue cryptum. And we like how Chief is at the ready with his assault rifle in hand. The atmospheric lighting and effects of this piece are also amazing, and we appreciate all the reflections and shading we can see across the piece. This render depicts an epic encounter that any Halo lore fan wouldn't want to miss. To see this render, as well as more extraordinary works from Ideal Roni, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. 3D artist Riley TW created this render titled Forward Unto Glory or Dawn and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the render, we can see a team of Spartans making their way through a glowing sunlit field. We really like the lighting and atmosphere of this render. The lighting of this piece is absolutely breathtaking, and the shadows being cast upon the lush field and the billowing clouds is nothing short of phenomenal. The details seen on the Spartans in the massive skybox are probably our favorite parts, and we especially like the array of comets, seen ripping across the dark starlit sky. This render looks like an epic movie poster, introducing a squad of out-of-this-world Spartans. To see this piece, as well as more glorious works from Riley TW, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. It's now time for the Forge Map Spotlight. This week we have two maps to showcase. The first map we're featuring today is great if you like exploring scenic forest and shrouded facilities. This is The Grand Overture by Halo Infinite Forger Jack Sparkle 243. This map takes place at a cliffside water treatment complex and is great for arena game modes. This military facility looks absolutely marvelous and is excellent to play on. We love the many different areas of the map that allow for various gameplay encounters. Players can battle at the differently designed opposing bases or behind cover in the open area found at the center of the complex. However, 
Our favorite part of this map has to be the underground tunnel, which connects both bases together. This tunnel contains winding dark hallways and a secret room which players can peek into through a wide, dim window. Plenty of weapons can be found around the map, like swords at each base, a sniper spawn on top of the center big strut, and a rocket spawn found just below it. A warthog can be found at the water treatment base, right beside the cliffside, while a ghost can be found at the other base near the center of the map. Equipment like the repair field can also be scavenged, which is great for fixing up vehicles in a pinch. This facility may appear to be overtaken by nature, but it still functions as the perfect tactical arena for Spartans to test both their ranged and close quarters combat proficiencies. To look over the vast horizon on this map for yourself, bookmark Jack Sparkle's map via the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. The second map we're featuring today is great if you ever wanted to poke around the inside of one of those mysterious haunted manors. This is Lunar Vale Manor by Halo Infinite Forger Zezna. This map takes place within a dimly lit ominous mansion and is great for a variety of game modes, including infection. The dark, long hallways and tight rooms make this a perfect map for infection. We really like the small details found throughout the building, like the furniture, carpets, and wall decorations, and all the supplies found throughout could be useful when fighting off against the infected horde. The survivors spawn right at the entrance of the mansion, while the infected spawn within the flooded basement wine cellar. Ironically, we find this cellar to be a great holdout room for the survivors since the invisible infected make noticeable splashes across the room's flooded floor. Just be wary of infected that may use the vents leading down into the cellar, for there are only two staircases to get back up to the main floor. Players could choose to hold out in the main atrium, or pick one of the many rooms this multi-floored mansion has to offer. Some of these rooms even have alternate ways to get to other parts of the map. A harsh storm may be raging just outside this closed-up manor, but Spartans can surely survive the night if they fortify themselves properly within this grand spooky mansion. To cause some mysterious mayhem on this map for yourself, bookmark Zezno's map with the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. That is all the community highlights we have for you folks today. If you would like to see your art, maps, or Halo clips potentially featured here, be sure to join our Discord linked below, and feel free to say hi and share your creations from time to time. That is all the infinite news we have for you folks today. Play the Spirit of Fire operation today and get excited for playlist refreshes and the upcoming content browser. Remember to send feedback to 343 on all of their social media pages so they can better improve all aspects of Halo Infinite for the future. Also, check out the shop and review the promotions if you want to claim additional items for your Spartan. Follow the links in the description for more info on everything shown today. And check out Infinite News for more on what's new in Halo Infinite. The Spirit of Fire operation is still around, and even more updates are on the horizon for Halo Infinite. Get ready for more Halo surprises still to come. Enjoy February, everyone. We will see you all in Infinite.